Greetings, traveler, and welcome to the channel. In this featured match, I'm gonna show you the closest battle I've ever faced. The match starts off with a Hypno up against my Bastiodon. Now this is generally a positive matchup, as we resist these confusions. Hypnos generally have a very diverse moveset, however, and this one could be carrying Focus Blast. Fearing that this could be a Focus Blast, we decide to shield the first charge move from the Hypno. But it's just a Thunder Punch, and now we go for the Farm Down. Now he gets to another charge move, but I'm pretty sure this is just a Thunder Punch, so we let it through. He figures out that we're trying to farm him down though, and gets to another Thunder Punch. Now we're loaded with energy, but we're one shield down. He brings in his own Bastiodon, and we prepare for the most exciting Bastiodon Mirror. And now we're gonna speed this up because this will take forever. In this kind of match, it's always better to go for the flamethrower as it does more damage than the stone edge. This mirror match does take a lot of time though, and this becomes critical in the end game. After he takes out my Bastidon, I decide to come in with the Medicham, but he instantly swaps to his Azumarill. Now we counter swap with our Trevenant. But the question is, does this Azumarill have Ice Beam? The Ice Beam deals a ton of damage. And he also shields our Sea Bomb. Trevenant charges up really fast though and gets to another Sea Bomb. And he shields that one as well. We rush to the third seed bomb. Unfortunately, he gets to the ice beam. We decide to shield it, but then the Bastiodon comes in and snipes us. Let's take a look at that snipe once again. As you can see, I'm trying to swap into the Medicham, but our switch clock is not quite ready yet, and we literally get smacked down. We farm down the Bastiodon to get ahead on energy, Unfortunately, both of our charge moves are resisted by the Azumarill. But the Bastiodon Mirror did eat up a lot of time, so we can still win by running out the clock. And the best way to do that is to hit as many power-up punches as possible. There's 19 seconds left on the clock. I just need to hold on a little longer. He hits us with another move, and if this is play rough, the game is over. But it's only a Hydro Pump. But it brings us into the red while his life is still at yellow. We get to one more power up punch, but is this enough? Time's up! The life bars look almost identical. And we win with the smallest of margins. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.